everyone, so today I am going to do a Get Ready With Me One Direction concert. I really like them and I watch all their videos on YouTube and they're just my favorite people ever. So this is the finished look. My hair is curled, like messy, like carefree kind of hair with a smoky eye and a bright pink lip and this is my top so if you like what I did today then keep on watching the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to set my face with Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to spray this all over my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face and I'm using Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I'm going to put this all over my face, mainly focusing on my T-zone. That's where I have like more pores and that's where I start to get oily, especially right here by my nose, so I'm going to put it by my nose, chin, on my forehead, and then I'm going to spread it all around my face. Okay, I'm going to put my foundation on, and I am using Maybelline's Super Stay Makeup. I am the color Sand Beige. And I'm going to apply this with a duo fiber brush. And this brush is from Beige Cosmetics. So I put the foundation on top and I'm just going to place it on my face. So I'm going to place it right here. My cheeks, my chin, down my nose, on my forehead, and on my neck it's going to roughly place it now I'm going to stipple it on making sure to cover my whole face and after I'm done stippling it on I'm going to buff it in so I'm going to use circular motions all around my face Making sure to blend it up all the way into my hairline on my neck, by my ears, my jawline, making sure it is all pretty much the same thing on my eyelids also, all over my face. Next thing I'm going to do is apply concealer. So I am using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this is in the color light. So I'm going to click it a few times. I'm going to apply this concealer under my eyes. I'm going to pat it because that's how it get more of the product. I go under my eye, do a line down towards the end of my nose right here, and I'm connecting that line forming a triangle. I'm going to put it on my chin also because I get kind of right there. And this is a good highlighting so I'm going down my nose and then on my forehead and a like fanned out triangle shape. I'm going to take my duo fiber brush and I'm going to blend the concealer out. So I'm going to do it under my eyes like so. On the other side. Oops. 
on this spot that I have right here on my chin down on my nose and on my forehead okay so everything is nicely blended so I'm going to set my face and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the color Translucent and I'm setting that with the e.l.f. powder brush, it's just a flat top brush. So press it on my face, especially under my eyes because that's where I tend to crease. I'm putting, patting this all over my face. And down my neck also. So after that, I am going to bronze and contour my face. So I'm using, um, I think this is Rimmel. Yeah, I'm using Rimmel Natural Bronze Bronzer in the color Sunlight. And I'm using the Beige Cosmetics brush. And this is just a normal powder brush. So I'm going to contour my face with the bronzer. So I'm going to go along my cheekbones right here on the other side. Move my hair on the other side on forehead along my jaw and down uh, my neck so this is just a like, slanted brush and I'm going in with the bronzer to contour my nose so to dip that in there, tap off any excess, and contour my nose with this. Do the other side also. I'm gonna go on the bottom of my nose. And on the top, I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color dark. And I'm using the brush that comes with it. And I'm going with this darker color, which is the wax. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. So that's how it is with just the wax and now I'm going to go in with this powder, tap off any excess and I'm going to go over my eyebrows with the powder. Now I'm going to use a eyebrow brush just to blend it out and not make it as harsh. I'm going to do this and brush and also to brush my eyebrow hairs into place. So I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using the e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to Prime my eyelids. This is on my eye. And blend it all the way up to my brow bone. And a little bit under my eye. Because I am going to put some eyeshadow under there. The next thing I'm going to do is the eyes and I'm going to be using is Maybelline the Nudes eyeshadow palette. 
So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is this white champagne color up here. So I'm going to take this and I'm using the e.l.f. Professional eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pat this all over my eye. I'm doing this thing on the other eye. Now I am going with the same brush and I'm using this gold color. And I'm going to focus this on the outer half. And I'm going to sweep it, blend it towards the inner half. Go ahead and do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to use this light brown charcoal color and I'm using the e.l.f. crease brush. And I'm going to place this on my crease. And you can use whatever crease method. I just like sweeping it across. You could do it in little circles if you want to. I just like sweeping it across and blending it towards the inside. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so I am going to take the blending brush. I'm going to use this like gray charcoal color. I'm just going to pat it on the blending brush and tap off any excess and I'm going to place this in the outer corner and blend it towards the middle of my crease but mainly focusing it on the outer corner. I'm also fanning it down towards my lash line to make that outer V shape. And I'm going to do the other side also. Now that I placed the outer corner color, I'm going to take another blending brush to blend that dark color out. Making sure there's no harsh lines. I'm taking the flat shader brush with the same champagne light color that we used on our lids and placing this under our eyebrows on our brow bone. Placing this under there like so. On the other side also. I'm going to use this pearly white color. I'm going to put this in my inner corner. So I've highlighted my inner corner and I'm going to take the small crease brush that we used earlier and I'm going to use in the crease color and I'm going to put this under our lash line on the other side also.
the eyeshadow. I'm not sure if you could really see this. It's really pretty and smoky and really pretty for the concert that I'm going to go on later today. I'm so excited. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my upper lash line and I'm using the Jordana Fabu liner in the color black. So I'm going to line my eye with this. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And now I am going to curl my lashes. So I'm just curling my lashes. One. And I'm going to apply some mascara using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. And this is the Cat Eye, the Cat Eyes, and I use Waterproof in Blackest, in Glam Black. So this is what I'm using. And so the brush looks like this, just a curved brush. So I'm going to apply this to my lashes. I'm going to apply this to my bottom lashes also. thing I'm going to do is apply blush and I am using the NYC color wheel mosaic face powder in the color pink cheek glow I'm going to use the blush with the elf complexion brush I'm going to place this on my cheeks Like so, do the other side also. And we are almost done and now I am going to do the lips. And I am using Jordana's Twist and Shine Lip, Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in the color Candid Coral. And I'm going to put this all over my lips. This is the finished face and is a pretty smoky eye with a bright coral pink lips like so. And I really like this makeup look for the concert. And the next thing I am going to do is the hair. Okay, so now that we've done our makeup, we are going to do our hair. So I'm going to take my hair out of this ponytail and I'm going to split my hair in the middle and gathering the top part and we're putting it in a ponytail to separate it from the bottom layer so I'm going to do that I'm going to take some hairpins just to keep this part secure like so I'm going to pull the back layer to 
to the front. Okay, so I zoomed out so you can see what exactly I'm going to do with my hair. So I am using the Revlon 1 inch curling wand. I'm just turning it on. And for this hair tutorial, I am going to do a messy, like, curls, messy curls, messy waves. I already put heat protectant in my hair and brushed my hair out before this whole video. So, I already done that part and now I'm just going to section my hair off like about an inch or so this much is an inch and I'm going to twist my hair all the way to the end like so and I'm going to wrap the twisted hair around the wand. I'm going to keep it there for about 15 seconds or so. You keep it longer if you know how your hair is with heating tools. I'm going to let it go down. I'm going to hold it in my hand that way it could cool in the curled form. Being there for a couple seconds and dropping it down is going to give a curly like rope kind of look but later on we will shake it out and make it look better so i'm going to do this on this side and to the rest of my hair and i'll be right back okay so i finished up the rest of my hair and the finished look after i curl my hair is like this all ropey and curly kind of reminds me of of a mop so this is how it looks like so i am going to spray my hair with a hairspray and I'm using the Tresemme Tres 2 spray number 5 extreme number 5 freeze hold and I'm just going to spray my hair with this just a little just a little so the curls can stay longer and better and now I'm going to run my fingers in my hair and shake it out like so and now you can see that the curls up here are starting to get loose so I'm just going to run my fingers through the curls down here it would work better if you had a wide tooth comb but I can't find mine right now so I'm just using my fingers running my fingers through Out my hair so I'm just doing that okay so my hair is fine and this is how the curls look like when they are done so they are messy waves and you still have that kind of curly didn't mention so it was really messy and I like it so now that the hair and makeup are done I'm going to show you what I am going to wear 
So let's show you my outfit. Okay, so this shirt is, so I could focus this. Okay, this shirt is from Forever 21, and it is a tank top shirt, looks like this, and it is colorful and has like, Like, um, squares, geometric shapes. And this shirt reminds me of a stained glass mirror kind of mosaic. So, it looks like this. And on the side is pretty sheer. And on the bottom, I'm wearing a black tank top. I am wearing some blue jean jeggings from American Rag at Macy's. So I bought these and I'm not wearing shoes right now. You can see my feet and socks. And for shoes, I would wear these flats. I got these from TJ Maxx and they are just black flats, pointed flats, and they have like black rhinestones, as you can see. And they are from Mia, it says. These are from Mia from TJ Maxx, and I love these. They're so cute and comfortable, and I just love those. So these are the shoes that I would wear with this outfit okay so this is the final outfit hair and makeup and I really like this for the One Direction concert that I'm going to on later today so uh, thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so leave a comment if you like to see the vlog that I am going to do at the One Direction concert so leave a comment down below and I will make sure to upload that video. Thanks for watching this Get Ready With Me One Direction concert. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.